Johnny and Dolly. The team is supported by ableauctions.ca. Closing your business? We can help. We're just waiting on NHL agent, hockey agent Dan Milstein. It is a Wednesday, and all of our guests, including Dan Milstein, are brought to you by the Alberni Power and Marine RPM Group, located in Port Alberni. Alberni Power and Marine, it's one of Vancouver Island's most trusted boat dealerships, the largest Mercury Marine dealership in Canada. Their service team just won for the fourth consecutive year a CSI, that's Customer Satisfaction Index Score, above the national average. That's hard to do from what I understand, but they nail it year in, year out. Make your appointment today for the 2022 boating season at albernipowermarine.com. We're going to be joined now by Dan Milstein, a part of the Gold Star Sports Management Group. He uh, represents several National Hockey League players, including Andre Vasilevsky, Nikita Kucherov. Uh, he also represents Evander uh, Kane. Dan is Ukrainian, and as you can tell by that list I just uh, gave you, he represents several uh, Russian players in the National Hockey League. Dan, thanks so much for doing this, sir. How are you? Thank you very much for having me on, guys. Yeah, no, no, no problem at all. There's so much uh, to talk about with you, uh, Dan. I almost don't know where to begin, but let's go here. Um, we understand... Uh, your clients, and you've tweeted this out if I'm not mistaken, your clients are experiencing, your Russian clients in the NHL, experiencing a disturbing level of harassment right now. What can you tell us about that? Well, these are very unfortunate times. Uh, I am a, um, I'm a political refugee, originally from the Soviet Union, from Ukraine. So uh, I feel that uh, uh, I'm semi-qualified to discuss. Uh, I am a representing number of uh, uh, Russian-born players here in National Hockey League. These are very good people. They are contributing members to our society. None of my clients want the war. Everybody wants the world peace. And um, and so, uh, but uh, over the last uh, couple of uh, couple of days, uh, we have experienced numerous threats that are coming in towards the players, their family members, uh, primarily here in North America. These are online threats, Dan. Uh, online and also in person. Like for example, we had uh, uh, in your neck of the woods, uh, uh, one of the players was uh, in a nice way, uh, was told to pack his bags and go back home. Uh, and I'm being very nice by saying that. When you say uh, our neck of the woods, are you talking about Vancouver? Uh, in, 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 in the area, one of the visiting teams, the players, uh, in, uh, I'm, not, I'm not naming the location, okay. but near, near, near within, within your region. Okay. Uh, oh, Dan, okay. yeah, Dan, you're Ukrainian and represent several Russian NHL players, as we just talked about. What's that relationship like right now with what's going on? Well, it is very unfortunate. Once again, I want the world peace. My, the, my childhood home where I lived for the first 16 years of my life is being bombed as we speak right now. People, innocent people are dying. And so, of course, I want the world peace. Now, I do speak Russian. Obviously, I represent numerous uh, hockey players mm -hmm. in the National Hockey League that are uh, of a Russian descent, and uh, they are good, honest people. Guys, the, you know, the hockey diversity, hockey is for everyone. It is truly for everyone. What we're seeing, uh, the, the, what's happening now, uh, right now, it's, it's setting us back 30 years ago. And so all I ask is, is that please look at those guys, not no differently than you looked at them mm -hmm. last week, last month, and stuff like that. They're good, honest people that are contributing members of our society here in North America and all over the world. Hey, Dan, I, I think I've got this right. You've asked NHL teams for added security for Russian players. Where is that at right now? So we are extremely appreciative of uh, the National Hockey League individual clubs and also uh, with the local police departments uh, all over uh, the NHL. Um, and um, uh, so uh, security is extremely important. And so uh, those men and women, they're doing a phenomenal job helping where uh, it is needed. The biggest concern, of course, is when, when my clients are on the road and their wives are at home with newborn mm -hmm. children, uh, the, you know, they're worried that something bad potentially could happen. And so we're appreciative of all the steps that the National Hockey League and local police departments and clubs have taken. 
Dan, I'm going to ask you about uh, the Canadian Hockey League. Looks like they're going to ban 16, 17-year-old imports. Uh, you're not happy about this at all. I think the announcement's coming down uh, today at noon. They're making the 16, 17-year-old kids suffer, are they not, Dan? They are just the kids. They're 16, 17-year-old kids. All they want is they want to. They 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 just want to play hockey. Look, I understand what's happening in Ukraine is wrong, and their innocent people are being dead. But why are you punishing 16 and 17 year old children? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's uh, that's so true, and it's going to affect uh, the Western Hockey League, including the Vancouver Giants and all the other teams as well. Dan, I, I got to ask you. Uh, you have the top. Russian free agent. The Vancouver Canucks are very interested in Andrei Kuzmenko. Tell us about how that whole scenario is going to uh, uh, unfold and when he will sign with an NHL team. Well, um, uh, kudos to Nikita Kucherov for identifying a top talent. Uh, he uh, called me about six years ago hmm. and told me to look into Kuzmenko because Andre. Uh, showed uh, uh, an NHL quality skill. And so we've been, I've signed him, we've been uh, uh, working together for the last six or seven, about six years or so. Uh, now, with that said, uh, Andre is currently playing in, in, uh, in the KHL. Uh, the playoffs began yesterday for him. Uh, we wish him well. Hopefully he goes on and wins the cup in Russia. Uh, and uh, we really haven't been speaking to the NHL clubs. We do intend uh, uh, to interview people, and then he'll make a decision whether whether it's the right time for him to come out uh, to the National Hockey League and or to stay uh, in Russia for another, you know, for the next contract. So uh, don't expect anything soon. Uh, very likely the conversations would uh, take place sometime in May and June of this year. Okay, and Dan, uh, you got a Vancouver Canuck, uh, their top pick uh, uh, from a couple of years ago, uh, Danila Klamovic. He's playing in Abbotsford, well, uh, second round last year. Uh, Dan, uh, your thoughts on his development uh, with the Canucks? Well, he he loves every moment of it. Uh, obviously, Danila is a quality player. We always knew that he was. Uh, obviously, he had an opportunity, something that uh, the next generation of uh, Belarusian and Russian kids would be denied uh, I'm talking about the, uh, obviously for the upcoming IHF tournaments, but uh, Danilo had a great showing in Dallas at the at the U18s, the Worlds, um, and was drafted in the second round. Without the tournament, there was a great chance that he would have been totally he 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 would not have been drafted in the, in the last year's draft. So just think about it. The tournament put him on the map, and uh, the next generation of kids is going to be denied. You know, they, they're going to be denied this opportunity. So, uh, but that said, he loves uh, he loves the, the Vancouver Canucks system. Uh, he, you know, uh, he's going through a great development, and hopefully, uh, in the near future, within the next year or two, he will be uh, a full time NHL player. Um, someone who's not a kid, Alex Ovechkin, uh, Dan. He's been criticized for not speaking out against Putin. Can you understand where he's coming from? You know, I don't uh, work with Alex uh, Ovechkin, okay. so I'd rather not make any comments in regards to uh, to him. Okay. Uh, Evander Kane, he's one of your clients. Uh, how would you characterize the time he's spent so far in Edmonton? Uh, he um, He's obviously had a good time. Uh, I'm hearing, uh, hearing good positive things from him. He loves every moment of it. Obviously, um, you know, they, they, have a, they have a good team. I spent some time with... Uh, Ken Holland uh, uh, the other last week, uh, and so uh, things, uh, you know, and, uh, we wish him all the best. All right, Dan, b- b- before we let you go, you're, you're Ukrainian, you're, you're from there, um, you represent several Russian players, you know the area better than uh, anybody I probably know. Uh, what's in the future for your homeland? I just hope that the war would, uh, would end soon. And uh, people would go back to normal lives. Uh, the message to, to to guys here in North America and alike: Don't be hating on regular Russians. Uh, talking about hockey, hockey is truly for everyone. You've been preaching and talking about the the, the diversity, the hockey for everybody, but you are discriminating good, honest people only because they were born uh, in Russia. And so that needs to stop. With that said, I wish for the world peace. I hope that the war ends soon and people go back to the normal lives, whether it's going to happen or how soon. I hope it's going to happen very soon. And uh, I just hope uh, for the world peace. Dan, next time uh, you're on, hopefully you'll join us under more positive circumstances. All, All the best, my friend. Thank you, guys. Thanks for having me on.